Good morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Happy Monday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're talking about crystals you can use and work with for massive change and new beginnings to help you get through this difficult, crazy time that we're in. So welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining. Doing a little cleansing and clearing here to begin with. I like to cleanse and clear, cleanse and clear, reduce and release all negative energies. So come on in and let's join the discussion today. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Naomi. Welcome to the show. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, Slim. Majestic. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, Kelly. Happy Monday, everyone. Tanya, hello. Welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? How are you doing? Beautiful morning here. So beautiful. Mm, so happy. It's sunny and warm. <laughs> welcome. Happy Monday. Come on in. Join, this, join the chat today. We're today we're talking about massive change, new beginnings, and some crystals that you can work with, and I know a lot of you already have, um, to help you through this crazy change that we're going through. Crazy time, really crazy, crazy time. So it is a change that uh, we are going through globally, but also individually. Everybody's going through their own change in their own changes, and everybody is reacting in their own changes, their own way too. And I find it's interesting that, well, what is challenging for one is not for another and vice versa. We're all having our own different challenges with this change. And it's going like there's different things monthly, weekly, even daily that we are trying to cope with and deal with and adjust to. Um, and we're all doing it differently and we're all reacting differently. Um, so what are some ways that you are, welcome everybody, thanks for joining us today. What are some ways that you are um, dealing with the massive changes that we're going through? What are some ways that you personally deal with or use to deal with the changes that you're going through with this global shift? What are some things that you personally do, if you don't mind sharing with us? Um, and it's just one of those things you kind of have to do what's, what works for you, what, you know, you kind of ex have to experiment with some things, what, what, what works for you. Um, and I'm going to show you, um, share some crystals with you, uh, in a few minutes of what I think are, are very effective in helping go through change because this is a massive change and a lot of times we want change but we don't want to go through the growing pains of change and um, I'm not saying that we wanted this kind of change but we might have wanted something and now is the time that it's forcing us to change regardless um, it's forcing us into new beginnings um, some which I'm finding many are kind of displaced, but I'm finding that many are okay with it, um, even though it's difficult, and looking for something better on the other side. So it is a time of change, massive change, and it is a time of new beginnings, new growth, new opportunities, new direction. So um, embrace that. I feel it's just uh, important to embrace what's coming. What is coming? Embrace your new direction of where you're going. <clears throat> grounding is so, so important right now. And I'll show you some grounding crystals. It is so important, those of you who don't know what grounding is, is to become stable and connect yourself with Mother Earth again. Um, it can help you feel secure if you ground yourself. You should do this often. It can help you feel stable. It can uh, clear your mind. It can do so much. Um, and to ground, I keep getting these little notifications, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what. 
um, to ground, um, spend some time in nature, walk in the sand, walk in the grass with your bare feet, if possible. I mean, be reasonable about it. Uh, hug a tree, touch nature in some way and connect to it in some way. It's so very powerful. So very healing too, if you can connect to nature. Um, it's simple, it's free. Why we don't do it more often, it's kind of one of those lost arts. It's one of those lost ceremonies, uh, practices that I think many used to do often. Um, but it's something we should adapt more often now is connecting to nature and grounding all the time. So, yeah, Trish trying to be outside more. Yes, absolutely. Get some fresh air, for goodness sakes. Go outside and breathe. You know, when you hold your breath, that's when tension rises. That's when, and what causes you to hold your breath are change and effects from change. Fears, stress, worry, uncertainty, all that stuff. You hold your breath. Go outside and do some deep breathing. Yeah, great suggestions. Hey, everybody, thanks for coming in. Please share this with others who can join the chat and our community, too. Taking walks, Lisa, that's good. Taking walks, it's free also. Go out there and take walks. Um, my daughter and I yesterday went on an hour, hour-long walk um, in the evening, and it was so nice. I haven't done that with her in a, in a really long time. And it was so nice. and. Actually, I prefer to walk on a treadmill. I mean, not a treadmill. Walk in nature than a treadmill. So, you know, being out in nature, you get the benefits of the fresh air. You get the benefits of all that nature provides you. And being outside is just, and walking outside is just so, so refreshing. I wonder if I could turn this crazy sound notification thing off. Hopefully that worked. Oh, okay, hopefully it worked without messing up anything. All right. So yes, be out in nature, some some form or some fashion, some way. Ah, uh, Lorne, keeping energy at bay. <laughs> Keep balanced. Yes, that's a good one. Lots of walks, Shannon. Yes. <laughs> uh, too cold here for walks. Yeah, I know. You know the weather is crazy. Um, if you're able to be outside, be outside. If you're not, then wait until you can. But um, you'll get, you'll get, yeah, hopefully you'll get some time when you can spend some outdoor time. Michelle, exercising, meditating, journaling, journaling, just for historical reasons. I think that's great. I, I really think everybody should uh, journal your experiences during this time. It's really important not of just what's going on, but what you're experiencing with it, how you're reacting, how you're dealing with it, because others may read what you had to write someday and it might help them with the next huge, massive change. So I think that's beautiful. That's great, Michelle. And you all know I love meditation. I'm glad you said that because meditation is so very, very powerful, so very important, and so very effective. So meditate, 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 and exercise too. Yes, if you can't get outside, there's lots of ways to exercise in your home. So that's important too. Release that pent up, you know, energy. Exercise is great for that. When you're exercising, you're focusing on that. You're not focusing on all the other stuff that's happening um, that's causing this change or causing whatever, you know, that's uh, kind of a disrupting lives. So exercise is good. Yeah. Okay. Need of a walk, Mora. <laughs> Grounding is so good. Yes, Larnie. <laughs> Oh, Maura, you know, I, I, I know uh, emotions are roller coasters right now uh, because change is hard to deal with anyway. And um, the human emotion is trying to, or the human body is just trying to adjust. And emotions are part of that. Um, anger, fr 
frustration, impatience of so many things causing these things. And like I said earlier, we all react differently to different situations. Um, and it's just part of the experience. Unfortunately, we do go through some of those things that are, are hard and negative and things that we wish, you know, sometimes we didn't go through like that. But, uh, you know, just try and find some way to release the negative energy in a positive way, meditation, prayer, spend, out, spend time outside, um, use some essential oils, um, sage, Palo Santo, if you don't mind the smoke. Uh, journaling is an excellent way to release pent up emotion. Um, and you can do some automatic writing. Just take a few deep breaths, get a pen and paper. Maybe we should do that exercise next week. What do you think? A, an, a live automatic writing exercise together. What do you think of that? Would you like to do that? Would you like to participate in that? Let's see some hearts if you do. Um, just I'll talk you through it. You all do your thing and then we'll come back, you know, and and talk about your experience. Um, so journaling is a really good way to release negative energy. And of course, if you need medical care of any sort, please get it. You know, there's there's uh, this is not a you know, this is not um, these suggestions are a lot of them just uh, kind of basic common sense things, um, but it's not a replacement for medical care. So if you need medical care or psychological care, please talk to your providers for that. Um, drink a lot of water, flush the toxins out, drink a lot of water and eat healthy foods. We tend to eat stress foods when we are under change or stress of any kind. Um, foods that are not ideally healthy, the ice cream and the, you know, chips and the, all that stuff. Comfort. Yeah, they comfort, but, <laughs> but, uh, it is better to eat healthy if you are able to do so. And talk to friends, reach out to friends when you're experiencing, um, times when you're trying to get through some of this crazy change. Talk to friends. Spend time in prayer um, as much as you need to. And um, connect to your higher power, your the God of your understanding, whoever that might be. Spend some time in quiet time. Just quiet time. Step away from the electronics, the media, the social media. Step away from it. I love to come out here in my backyard. As you can hear the birds, they're always out here. And it's so beautiful to watch them play. And we have a bird feeder, we feed them and watch them eat and to flip around with their food. Um, so yesterday I was out here listening to that and I was looking, I, was, I had my feet in the grass and I was looking at the grass for some reason. I just was just connecting in that moment, just very quiet time, just connecting with what all was around me. And I saw in the, the grass two beautiful little ladybugs. One was just sitting there, just chilling out, and the other one was going up a blade, down a blade, up a blade, down a blade. And I thought, oh, that's nice. It, it warmed my heart, as crazy as it is, but it was very a, a very simple, quiet moment and very much needed. I felt great afterwards. I felt refreshed. I felt uh, brought some joy to my life. You know, it just brought some, um, that just little simple little thing was very special to experience. So um, also reflect on what you have come through, what, how strong, you're strong, you've been through a lot. Do some reflective time of um, where you've been, how you've managed, where you're going, what you're going through, um, process what you're learning through all of this. There's so much learning going on. It's hard to understand it all right now. Uh, plan for your future. If, you're, if your life has been disrupted and totally turned upside down, what is it that would make you happy? Think about these things. What do you want to do next? If you've been displaced from your workplace or if you have been displaced in other ways, what do you want to focus on? What this is an opportunity to think about 
a positive direction in your future. What do you want to do? Make a list of all the things that you would like to focus on and do. I have a lot of friends that are really focusing on um, online learning right now and you can learn a whole nother skill set or you can explore something that you really enjoy or have been wanting to for a long time that you've been putting off that can take you ultimately to a new direction. So there's so much out there, so much. Get creative. When you get creative, you get inspired and then that brings forward some ideas of what you might possibly want to focus on also. You might get that epiphany or that aha moment and go, I can do this and I can make it work and it will be amazing. It happens. What else helps you deal with massive change? My goodness. I have another question for you here in just a moment. Let's see what else we've got to say here. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thanks for coming in for the chat. Meditate, meditate, yes, absolutely. Exercise, meditate, journal, all these things are good. Yeah. And make it, uh, I, I don't know, it, it, it's, you know, if you can do these things every day, meditate every day, journal every day, uh, spend your time in prayer every day, walk or exercise in some way every day, you know, all these things. Um, are very, very positive, and then you'll start to see some positive changes and shifts too. Oh, thank you, Maura. Looking for a journal companion. You resonate with my cards. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you are uh, enjoying my cards, The Art of Allowing. I did not bring those out today. I do have two different decks that I'm going to pull a card each. Um, for a group message and I have found so often times that they resonate completely with the discussion of What we're talking about and it's just it blows my mind that it happens that way, but it does it's just incredible how the universe responds to What you're doing Yeah Okay, so next week we will do a live journaling automatic writing exercise and I'll talk you through it so bring your pen and paper make sure next Monday about this time um, make sure you have some time and if you have a clear quartz hold that with you too if you don't if you have another kind of um, crystal bring that with you if you don't have any crystals whatsoever that's okay I believe you can do it anyway so um, we'll work on that yeah sounds good the journaling uh, automatic writing JJ <laughs> You hear something over there. Um, we'll, we'll plan on that next week. So, yeah. Lorna, you released a lot yesterday by journaling. You can release so much. It's like, it's like getting all that stuff that's in your head that you can't say out. And it's a release of sorts. And sometimes you can really have some very profound insights with it. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. The simple things um, bring the most joy. That's so true, Connie. That is so true. The simple things bring you so much joy. The simple things. I see right now there's a little hummingbird in my um, little bush over here. And the bush is like uh, uh, filled with red and white flowers. It's a desert plant. We have mostly desert plants out here. Um, because of the heat and um, it thrives in the heat this plant. I, I don't it's, I don't really know what kind it is, but the hummingbirds love it and I have my um, Mexican purple sage bush that's starting to bloom the hummingbirds love that and my lavender is coming about the bees love lavender Oh my goodness. They're always over there. Just happy 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 uh, Yes, the simple things that bring you joy. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Yes, Maura, finish your book. Yep. Oh, that's neat. There's a lot of things on YouTube, Maura. Yeah, or Michelle, yes. 
a lot of things on YouTube that you can explore that can take you all around the world that you can learn from, that you can experience. Um, I have posted several new sound meditations on YouTube recently for you to listen to. One is uh, deep emotional healing. One is to connect to higher energies. One is to ground and release energies. Um, more will be coming. Uh, I have been in this creative, sound creative mood uh, and I'm letting it flow. I'm letting it happen. So listen to those. If you don't have my YouTube channel, it's Debbie Hardy Crystal Healing. So get on there and subscribe. And the ones I'm talking to you are in the playlist of high frequency sounds. And I have a lot of spiritual chats in there too, from past spiritual chats, a lot of meditations from, from the past that we've done together. So there's a lot on YouTube. Um, explore it. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Um, I have more of the, the book that goes with the cards. It's not necessarily a journal. It is a, I don't have the book handy, but I can show you later in a message. It is the same affirmations as the cards. Um, and it's designed for an affirmation a week, but you can use it. People are using it other ways too. But it talks about those affirmations. Um, it talks about why that affirmation is uh, important and what to focus on a little bit more with those affirmations. So if you want to send me a message later, I can get you information on it. Yeah. It's also on Amazon, Mastering the Art of Allowing book. Yep. Vision boards are great, Carol. Great suggestion, vision boards, yeah. Love the lavender. The sounds are amazing out here. I know, it's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so for me personally, I looked, I was, the, I was thinking the, uh, the other day, I was looking through my life, just like thinking about my whole life in chapters. And I was thinking, you know, I've been through some massive changes in my lifetime. Um, when I was young and my adult years too, some huge changes that forced me in a different direction. And I look back at them and every single time I experienced one of those massive changes, I came out of it in a better place. Um, the changes themselves were very, very difficult and hard as this one is too. But I foresee myself in a better place after all of this too. I'll have more understanding, more direction, more focus, a lot of things, more knowledge, more wisdom. Do you feel, that's kind of a two-part question, and expand on your answers too, if you don't mind. Looking back on your lives and the massive changes that you've all experienced, did you come out of it in a better place, yes or no? And did you learn things from them, yes or no? Um, do you foresee coming out of this big change in a better place for yourself? So if you don't mind sharing, I would love to hear your experiences on that. Um, it's something just to think about too. Um, you know, change cycle, change cycles are growing pains and growing pains are painful and difficult to um, get through sometimes. Uh, but we'll all get through it. We'll all get through it and we will all um, learn a great deal from it. Uh, it's just a huge shift in energy. If you think about all of this in energy, forms of energy, this global shift right now is energy and it's, it's shifting and it's pulling so many people in different directions from where they were to push them to where they need to go. Think of it as energy. And it's um, the growing pains and the shift and the pull of energy is hard because we are naturally resistant to, you know, even if we want to change, a lot of times we resist change because we're in a, a, a comfort zone. 
um, and we don't really want to learn something new or we really don't want to um, go to the other side with, uh, with difficulties. We want to just be there easy. Well, it doesn't work like that, right? Um, there's always some internal learning to get through to get to where we need to go. So, so what do you think of those? What do you think of those uh, questions? Carol, prayer ha helps you cope. I think that's beautiful. Prayer is very important. Yes, very, very important. Yes, a better place. Jamie, you think so? Hi, Mary. Welcome, everybody. Thanks come on in. Yes, uh, Chris, uh, Colleen says, yes, face many um, gut-wrenching changes at the moment. Overwhelming, but I see what path they have pulled me to, and I know it's all for the better. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we have to go through some very, very, very difficult, very extremely difficult changes to get to where we ultimately need to go. So um, let me share with you some crystals you can use to help you through the change cycle itself. Um, and then we'll pull the two cards. And I have one, I think, one final question for you too. Um, that's kind of similar to what we've been talking about. So tourmaline, ground, ground, ground. Tourmaline, we talked about grounding. Tourmaline is a great way to ground yourself if you can't get outside in nature. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Hold tourmaline to reduce fears, insecurities, um, to stay centered and to stay grounded. Really effective for that. There are days when I, <clears throat> there are days when I hold tourmaline all day in my pocket, just all day. Excellent stone to work with. Um, fluorite, you know I love fluorite. This is a good time to use fluorite, well any time is, but this time right now to be clear and focused to enable you to make wise choices, wise decisions, because there's a lot of um, forks in the road of which you can take. And fluorite can help you clear your mind of that stuff that might clutter it or clog, you know, clog the flow of, of um, thinking clearly. <clears throat> so fluorite can help you think clearly to enable you to make wise choices. So fluorite is awesome for that. Lipedialite to help you reduce stress, anxiety that come up um, during this roller coaster ride that we're going through. Things come and more will that might cause you to be anger, angry, sad, um, negative emotions. So Lipedialite I find is very effective to help you reduce um, those energies. Mary, you don't think about the virus? I don't either for the most part. I don't, um, I'm past that. I don't think about it. And I think when you don't think about it, you don't focus on it, you don't lend energy to it. You don't uh, feed energy to it. So, um, I mean, yes, I take the precautions that are suggested. I do what they're saying, you know, the distancing and the mask thing and all this stuff when I have to be out. But, um, and I take the precautions of what they suggest, but I don't think about it. I don't, my mind is not consumed with it. I've let it go. It's not part of my life. I'm doing my thing here at home. I am working on my stuff and I'm taking care of me and I'm not focused on it. So I'm not lending my energy to it. So that's, um, hard. It's hard for many to let it go. But yeah, it's, it's important to just, you know, focus on yourself, focus on yourself and your immediate family. Who's with you. Um, focus on your environment, focus on your future, focus on other things that are positive. A couple other, um, crystals and then I'll catch back up with the comments. Um, red Jasper, Garnet, Ruby, are all wonderful to reduce fears very quickly. Um, reduce uh, the feeling of dread or 
uh, feeling of I'm not going to get out of this or this is, you know, fear of the unknown or fear of what you're going through. There's so many things that's, that so many people are, are um, so many people are, are so fearful about so many things associated with everything happening. Those crystals help you reduce that feeling and help you come out of that. Rose quartz, such a, such a gentle, soft, loving energy. It's just like a hug. If you need a hug, brings in, helps you remember that you're surrounded by divine love, helps you remember to be understanding, compassionate, um, share forgiveness with others. Um, really good. All of these are really good to work with during this time. So Renee, you lost your job. Last day is May 8th. I think this is the universe birthday present to me. Last day with customers was on your uh, birthday. Uh, oh, is on your birthday. Um, you were so upset, but looking at this as a new chapter, absolutely. It's a new chapter. It's a new beginning. Um, you know, it, it reminds me of when I first opened my crystal shop, I wanted to do that full time. I wanted to do crystal healing full time, but I was still working full time job because I felt I wouldn't be able to manage it. Um, if I just quit that job and do and focused on that. And I kept putting it out there to the universe. I want this. I want this. I want this. Um, all of a sudden I started seeing changes happening in my workplace. I started noticing things like, okay, this is not the energy that used to be. It's not positive anymore. It's not, um, teamwork anymore. It's not the communication breakdowns. There were so many things that were bothersome to me in my workplace that were not there before. And I thought that was an indicator of, okay, I really need to start focusing on manifesting me getting out of here and focusing on my crystal healing business. Then I had so many huge, massive changes hit me all at once that I was just like, wow, it was crazy. My mom was in an accident. My daughter was in an accident. My, um, I was focusing on trying to work, trying to do my crystal thing, trying to take care of both of them in their own ways. It was nuts. And I was, there was so much going on. I can't even, I've got to write about it. Uh, it started in a book, but there was so much going on that I couldn't even believe every day another challenge came up from those things. But it was pushing me away from the job I no longer wanted into something I did want, which ultimately led me here, writing my experiences, publishing my books, sharing my experiences with everyone, selling crystals online to people around the world sharing our, our experiences, our meditations. Um, and it continues to grow and to grow and to grow. So it was a huge shift, a huge change. And many are going through this huge shift, huge change, losing their job, but look at it as an opportunity to explore something that you had your heart on before, or something that brings joy to your heart, or something that you feel on a deep level that is meant for you. Focus on that. Do some learning, do some research, do some exploring, and take the next steps of where that will take you to, what you need to do to where that will take you. And let the universe guide you. Trust in the universal guidance that you're given. That was a big part of it for me. It was trusting the universe. And it's scary because you don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, oh boy, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting myself into or out of. I don't know. I had no idea. But trusting the universal plan, your soul plan, what's deep down inside um, was a huge part of it. So I think, Renee, you're going to find something amazing of what you need to do uh, where you need to go that will bring you joy, satisfaction, and happiness. Yeah.
Welcome, everybody. Welcome for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Justice overcomes stress. This is a very stressful time. Catch the replay for the whole thing. But um, do some meditation. Work with some crystal energy. Um, Lapidia light is one we mentioned. Rose quartz, tourmaline, uh, red jasper. Uh, get outside, walk in nature if you're able to. Connect with nature in some way. Yeah. Mary, so far, all the crystals I mentioned, you use them on a, on a daily basis. Um, that's why you're always asking me about bracelets. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I, I, I agree with that, Mary. There's some that I wear all the time. Even I sleep with some of them on. Yeah, yeah. Guided meditations are awesome. Uh, there's several out there. Um, there's several on my YouTube channel. There's several out there of other YouTube people. Uh, listen to high frequency sound um, to help you reduce stress. Yeah. So we all have new beginnings coming forth. We all have new beginnings coming forth. And I'll leave you with this last question. You can answer if you know, if you're not sure, if you just put unsure, if you have an idea and you want to share, please share. But um, we all have new beginnings because of this world shift that we're going through. What's your new beginning going to be? And while you think about that, I'm going to pull two, answer, two cards. Um, one is from the Answer is Simple deck. If I can get the thing off here. Because I feel this is so effective right now. Simple answers is what we need. Just something simple, very simple. And I was also led to pull one from the Sacred Journey deck, the Sacred Traveler deck also, because we are all on our own sacred journey. And this huge shift that we're going through is part of our journey. And let's see where we, we're going to end up on the other side. So while you're thinking about that question, um, I'll pull two cards and let's see what comes out today. And I'll show you and share with you what the, um, what the, um, wow, what the uh, cards have to say. And I always, most, most of the time they resonate with our discussions. So I'll show you both of them as soon as I pull. Usually if one gets stuck or one falls down or one um, just flips out or, oops, there we go. Okay, there we go. Great messages. This is very powerful, very, very powerful. First card that came out, give it to God. Give it to your higher power, whatever's stressing you, worrying you, concerning you, um, bringing fear to your life, whatever it is, give it to God. God, meaning your higher power, the God of your understanding, your creator, whatever that might be for you. I believe everybody has the right to believe what they believe as far as their higher power goes. So give your concerns, your worries to the higher powers and ask for your higher power to assist you throughout the whole process. When you give your worries, to God, you're releasing, you're releasing what's holding on, that, that negative energy that's holding on to you. You're releasing it and letting it go. Unbelievable, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just a beautiful question, a uh, beautiful um, message today. Also, the other card from the other deck is enjoy the journey. I know it's so hard to Think about enjoying times right now because it's very stressful for many. Enjoy the journey of where you're at right now. Enjoy your time of where you're at right now. Focus on what makes you happy right now. Focus on your learning, your experiencing, what you're, you know, it's what's important to you. Enjoy the little things. I was out there enjoying the ladybugs yesterday. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the simple things. Enjoy the wins. Enjoy the victories. Enjoy the gifts the universe gives you. Enjoy the 
things that you have in your existence right now. Enjoy all that you are. Beautiful message. Enjoy the journey. Give it to God. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your participation in your comments, your discussion. Thank you for being here next week. We will do the automatic writing exercise together live. So bring your pen and your paper and a crystal if you have one. Um, Wednesday, we're going to do a very informal check-in chat like we have been, seeing how everyone is doing just to talk, just to talk, see how everyone's doing. No agenda. I might have some questions for you. Like I like to throw out questions. I like to, um, I like people to think. I like to think. I like deep discussions. So I might throw some questions out for you um, on Wednesday. Thursday, Crystal Sale Thursday uh, on my Facebook page. And um, I think that's it for the week. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many blessings, and we will wrap it up. And I hope to see you all very soon. Yes, thank you, Mary. Please like, share, follow, and join our group, Crystalline Sage, and um, just uh, become an active uh, member of the community. Yeah. Um, let's see what you have to say here before we go. Uh, Joanne, starting your new holistic business. I've uh, been having a hard time focusing. Use your fluorite. Hold your fluorite day and night if you have one. Wear a fluorite bracelet if you have one. And um, I have a fluorite on my workspace, on my work desk that I have there all the time. And I wear fluorite just about almost every day. Some days I even carry one in my pocket. So fluorite's good for that, for focus and clarity. Michelle, you asked the universe for guidance about your business, where to take it, and boy, did get the answer. You are so grateful. That's wonderful. You know, when you're in, I'll leave it with this too, when you're in a more positive, cleared, balanced mindset, and you ask for answers, if you have a question, throw it out there to the universe, and you ask something, you're more apt to see the answers or hear the answers if you're in a more balanced, aligned mindset so try and stay positive as much as possible and um, we will see you all soon have a beautiful day namaste until next time thank you